Hi, my name is Matt Goldwater, and today I'll be taking you through this week's questions and answers session with us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. So let's have a look at this question then about uh, well, the difference between K factor, bend allowance, and bend deduction. So when uh, sheet metal is put through the process of bending, some of the material is bent and some of the material is compressed. Uh, if we have a look in this bend region, we can see that the red material is compressed while the blue material is stretched, which inherently means that when you bend part, it actually gets longer. Now inside this bend region as well, you have this arc. Now this arc is neither compressed nor stretched. It retains the same length, and it was also placed on what we call the neutral axes that runs through the entire part. Now, the location and length of this arc can be calculated in SolidWorks by using either k-factor, bend allowance, or bend deduction. Now, it's these different approaches, depending on your experience with sheet metal, uh, that you can use inside your part. So, k-factor. It's defined as the ratio that represents the location of this neutral axis uh, to the inside from the inside of this bend with respect to the thickness of your overall part. Now the only true way of knowing the distance from the inside bend uh, to the neutral axis is to take a piece of material, bend it, and then measure that bent material. Now in SolidWorks it actually calculates the distance of where this neutral axis uh, should be while still retaining the leg lengths of your part by using the constant uh, k-factor value that you give. Now the value must be greater than or equal to zero and it should be less than or equal to one. So let's put this into practice. Okay, k-factor can be applied at two ways in your feature tree. You can apply it at the sheet metal folder which will apply to all bends or you could find the individual bend and apply it there. We're going to do it in the sheet metal folder and we'll have a look at the bend allowance group box and you can see it's currently at 0.5 k factor. Mine's a global variable so I won't change it there. But let's first uh, have a look at the bend region to see the size. It's 6.28 mil. Okay, keep that in mind. We'll go into our equations manager and what we'll see is the k factor at the top here I've added in. It's 0.5, our neutral axis is directly down the middle. We're going to decrease that to 0.25 and tab. And what you'll see is that the neutral axis has gone closer to the inside of the bend and the flat pattern bend region has decreased to 4.71. Bend allowance is defined as the material that you add to the bend region. It will increase the overall flat pattern uh, length and there is no limit to what you can do with the actual allowance. There is a formula you can use to create a chart. You will need to know the angle, bend, radius, k factor, thickness, but that chart can then be implemented into SolidWorks so that the calculations can be done for you. So the flat pattern length is bend allowance 1 plus bend allowance 2 plus the value uh, that you enter for the bend allowance. So let's put this into practice. Bend allowance is applied just like k-factor in the sheet metal folder or in the individual bends. Let's do it in the sheet metal folder and find it under the bend allowance group box and we'll apply a bend allowance. Let's stick with the 6mm value and have a look at the flat pattern of that to see its increase. So you can see it's 6mm here and the overall length is 52. So if we go change that to say double the length to uh, 12mm and OK that, we'll have a look at the flat pattern we can see it's 12 mil there and it's also increased the overall length to 58. So bend deduction is defined as the material that you will remove from the bend region in order to arrive at the flat pattern. The formula when working with bend deduction is that the max value can be only less than two times the outside setback. So the outside setbacks valued uh, down here, it's from the outside of the bend to the virtual sharp. Okay. Now the flat pattern length equals the bend deduction 1 plus the bend deduction 2 minus the value of bend deduction that we enter. So let's put this into practice. Just like our k-factor and our bend allowance, we apply the bend deduction in the sheet metal folder for all bends 
or we go to the individual band in each of the features. Now let's have a look at the outside setbacks and they are 6 and 6 so we cannot exceed our band deduction of 12mm. I'm going to leave it at 12mm just to show you that the flat pattern will fail just like so. So we will edit our band deduction to be something like 11.99, something really close and we can see that the band deduction uh, of 11.99 has worked. It's removed 11.99 mil from the bend region, giving a result of 0.01. And we don't have to do a value, we can actually do zero. So just to prove that, we do a zero value and okay. And we can see it's retained its 12 mil, which is obviously the outside setback times two. Thank you for watching.